Hello everyone, uh, Stormlight here, and yes, it has been a long time since I showed myself on camera on, on this channel. Um, I checked my list of videos I've uploaded over the years, and it has been since November of 2017 since I've done, you know, a reaction, you know, show myself on camera on this particular channel. So, it is definitely nice, you know, hopefully nice for you guys to see my face again. Um, that would have been a long time. And of course, I have been active. On my channel still, but of course you all spy so I actually took like a a year break from for you know making videos and such because you know I just want to take a break from you know points in general for a while, you know, catch the songs on um, watching animes or cartoons, but also just you know just focus my personal life for a while. But of course then about a year yeah, like another year from taking a break from all that, then I probably started making short videos and then of course got back to points again. And then for especially for this particular video, I finally cut up to a uh, season eight of LLP, just in time for season 9 to come out, and that was one hell of a premiere, definitely enjoying the rest of that season, but for this particular video, I'm going to be featuring each of the, each, each of the episodes uh, for uh, uh, season 8 of My Little Pony, Fresh of Magic, but giving uh, my review in one sentence, so, and of course I put, put, put all my thoughts down on this particular notepad, and I'm going to, you know, just uh, not do like a very long review or anything, just, you know, just give a quick review uh, my overall thoughts in each episode of season 8, uh, basically a really great season overall, definitely enjoyed a lot of episodes, so yeah, without uh, further ado, let's get into this. Alright, starting with episodes 1 and 2 of season 8, the, you know, the premiere of his uh, school days, uh, love that it takes place right after the movie, um, the school is definitely a creative way to further, you know, learn friendship in the show, really love the intro of the young six in into the series, uh, personally, uh, you know, the male, of the of the six uh, of the males, I like gals more, and then female, I tell you, like Ocellus. And then, uh, next, it was definitely interesting, uh, taking it, especially with you know, definitely furthering the concept, you know, racism and stuff. So, that was definitely interesting. All right, then going out to episode three with the mod couple, definitely like the introduction of a uh, mud briar, definitely reminds me of uh, Sheldon, uh, from Big Bang Theory. Uh, they are. And then, nice to see other ponies in the show uh, get into relationships. And I like they end up with Pinky uh, still not being 100% um, okay with uh, Mudbriar at the end. Alright, next with episode 4, Fake It Till You Make It. It was fun to see Flarche, uh, you know, playing or you know, portraying different personalities in the episodes. But also, uh, I only just remember again for this review. Episode 5, Grey has gone wild. It was nice to see an episode based on other reporters, you know, with Grey Smith and her friends, but I kind of spaced out for mo most of it, so it wasn't too memorable for me. And just the side notes, um, nice to see a point that really resembles somebody who, a point that could be Trixie's dad, especially with you know, the main color and such. And nice to see you know, some background points looking like Rick and Morty. Now with episode 6, Surf and or Turf, nice to see more of uh, Mount's errors from the movie. And the hippogriffs. Cool to see the CMC solo and Frederick follow. And especially uh, when I watched uh, Blake Check's uh, reaction to the episode, kind of like maybe you know subtle hints of how you know some kids handle divorce between their parents. So if that's that was true, holy crap! Now episode seven, horseplay. It was definitely a fu fun way to expand uh, Sasha's character, especially with her acting uh, uh, abilities and with with her relationship with the main six, especially Twilight by the end. Now that was the eight of uh, the parent map. Uh, love that was Starlight and Sunburst episode solving a uh, friendship problem, and it shows how difficult uh, difficult it can sometimes be, um, be with with a parent, especially you know, especially with those two having only one parent in particular. Next with episode nine, uh, none uh, compete clause. If it honestly, if it wasn't for the young six being that episode, it wouldn't have been that really entertaining. Um, and kind of for, kind of forgettable. Personally, it's one uh, one of my least uh, favorite episodes of the season. Then with uh, episode ten, the breakup breakdown. Nice way to show through Big Mac and Sugar Bell how relationships relationships can sometimes uh, be difficult. And Spike and Discord acting like true, true bros to, towards Big Mac in this episode. Moving on to episode eleven, meltdown. Nice to see Spike fi finally mature physically by getting wings. And it shows that others could go through a puberty or adolescence here, especially, you know, when Spike got those, you know, red spots on his body. Definitely, you know, reminiscent of you know, the pit bulls on a human. Then with episode 12, Marks for Effort, 
nice way to yeah i i thought it was a nice way to show that the cmc don't really uh need to go to the uh, school of friendship at this point especially with all they've been through and i, I was immediately suspicious towards cozy, cozy glow at like when they first introduced her in this episode then finish out with the first half of the season with episode 13, The Mean Six. It was definitely cool to see uh, Christmas return and fun to see the evil versions of The Mean Six, especially with Evil Twilight in this episode. Then moving on from that with episode 14, A Matter of Principles. It was definitely very cool to see uh, Starlight uh, running school in this particular episode. Um, with the with the artifacts that were introduced in this episode, that was a fun way to learn the history of each the history of each of the creatures, uh, especially in the young six there. And it was just a way to show that Discord is still doesn't like being left out. Now move on. Now move on to 15 level episode here with the Horseworm Club. I thought it was real, real cool, cool way to show how each young six celebrates the holidays. My personal favorite was Ocelsis, and I thought and I thought it was a sad but good way to show through Gallus that not er not a everyone is able to uh, celebrate with their families, but. It was nice to see that he had his friends to celebrate the ho holiday with. And personally, this was my favorite episode of the season. Now with episode 16 of Friendship University, uh, not too much to say, but uh, honestly with the problem, I'm not too surprised that it was Flam and Flam, um, you know, kind people, kind ponies uh, in this particular way. Uh, nice and fun fun to see you know, more of Star Wars and Planet Plan. Planity. And of course, the song in the episode was, it was definitely a fun one. Next is episode 17, uh, The End of Friend, where I thought it was definitely a nice way to show through Rarity and Rainbow Dash, who personally are, who I think is best, best, and my, best pony and my favorite pony, uh, that you don't always have to have a lot of common to be friends with someone. Then we have episode 18, Yakety Sacks, and I definitely appreciate the, the girls telling Pinky right away. On um, what they personally thought about her, you know, playing the instrument, you know, especially Applejack calling back to calling back to horseplay with Celestia. Now, you know how they would dealt with that situation, and you know the the instrument itself was definitely uh well fun, especially you know since it's from the Yaks. Then we have episode 90, on the road to friendship, and it was definitely fun to see more of Starlight and Trixie. The song they sang was definitely a, a lot of fun and very catchy, and traveling with Sonic is not always a, a fun. Next, we have episode 20, The Washouts, and it was nice to see a, a competing team to the Wonderfalls. Uh, Light and Dust Return is definitely neat. Uh, definitely cool to see an Aussie pony. Uh, and then school, you know, actually confirming that she can't officially fly. But then it was I was definitely overjoyed to see Raymond Dash create a fan club for her. Very dungeon. Next, we have episode 21, A Rock Hoof and the Hard Plays. And it was nice to see more development of the pillars of the course, especially Rock Roof here, you know, with them, you'll be able to tell stories. But I thought it, but I wished that it was shown earlier into the season, especially, you know, okay, this going out the same here, but, as, you know, if they would have done this, we you know Starlight in episode 6, instead, you know, starting off with, you know, her development and, you know, save it for the very end. Yeah, I don't think that would have gone very well with Starlight, so I wish... They did what they were starlight to begin that season, and then you know begin this one. Move on to episode twenty-two, what lies beneath. And it was very cool to see the tree of harmony uh, to test uh, the young six here, uh, you know, testing their friendship and the fears that they have. Next, next we have episode twenty-three, sounds of silence, and I just love everything about the kids here, from the designs, their history, and just about everything here. And uh, uh, Cor Corn just blank checked when he watched this episode. On the blaze is definitely waifu material. Then we have episode twenty-four, Father Knows Beast, and it was cool to see more development with Spike and you know, a more you know have him deal with more uh, family issues and such in this particular episode. Um, nice to see, nice to see Smolder helping Spike throughout this whole episode, especially when he dealing with his dad. And, uh, the song that Sluss, uh, sung, sung this episode, you know, was fun to listen to. And I was always joyed to see, see Twy happy or Spike, um, seeing her as his, uh, true mother. Also very dungeon. Now, finally, with episode 25 to 26, the finale season, School Rays. 
And not too, definitely not too surprised that Cozy Glow turned out to be the fill in this particular episode. Uh, mistakes were pretty high in this particular episode, especially, you know, the magic disappearing in general. Um, nice to see Tyrrhic and more of Tartarus in this particular episode. And cool to see the young sex and a little bit of the CMC uh, able to save the day at the end. Alright, so that is my overall thoughts of each of the episodes of Season 8 of My Little Point, Friendship is Magic, in a sentence. And I do apologize if I was um, looking at my notebook throughout most of the uh, video, but I, I, I literally just created that list ju just like an hour before you know, making this video, so uh, it'll be kind of hard to you know, memorize all that stuff in a short period of, amount of time. But I do hope you enjoy uh, what my overall thoughts of each episode. Obviously, it's basically a really great season overall. A lot of fun concepts, fun new characters, fun new adventures, uh, really good lessons to uh, learn from each of the episodes. Um, and definitely looking forward to uh, see more of season nine when um, when you know when the rest of the episodes come out. And I definitely am going to be planning to do the same thing here with season nine when that is finished, Espe especially with what th that one since this that is the last season, very last season of MLP FIM. And I've I've done I've said in your tweets before on my Twitter account and and such, but um uh, those of you don't know um it is definitely sad to see the show going uh, along along you know other great cartoons in the past, but uh, I am very grateful that it existed in the first place. I'm pretty sure others can um, agree with me on that. So sad to see it going, but I'm glad that I glad. That happened, and I'll definitely treasure it for the rest of my life. So, yeah. So, when, so, so again, when that that particular season season ends, I'll do the same thing here. If I, you know, get my own thoughts on each episode when they come out. So, yeah. Hopefully, guys, stay tuned till then. And of course, yeah. Obviously, I probably won't do too many more of you know on camera like video stuff on this channel, but do stay tuned because I do have plenty more you know, short videos of, of uh, funny stuff planned um, later on for my channel, so make sure to subscribe and such, you know, like, stay tuned to what I have, ha well, for more content I have in store for this channel. So, that's the end of the video, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!